I got something. Ooh, it's a good striper. Yeah, how about that? Caught him right under the chin. All right, is he done? Is he done? Got him. All right, how about that? See, you can catch one in these hot conditions. That water surface temperature is plenty hot, but caught a decent sized striper right there. And we're gonna let him go back very quickly. You can really stress a fish when the water is really hot. So try to get him back in the water real quick. Okay, well, welcome back everybody to your Southwest Outdoors report powered by Chevy talking about extreme heat extreme fishing conditions here in these summertime months and your best chance to be successful. Here's your next tip. Fish above the thermocline. We've talked about the thermocline several times already this summer. That's the level, the lower level, deeper depths of the lake where there is little or no oxygen. In fact, I'm going to show you a shot of my Lowrance HDS-10 and you can see that down there in the deeper depths there is a blacked out looking area. That's an area of oxygen depletion. There is little or no oxygen at those lower depths of water. There will be no bait fish and no game fish at that depth. So the key is find it, fish above it for your best chance at success. Let's check in right now with Gary Dallahan in Oklahoma. You know, even with this string of 100 degree temperatures we've been having in August, you can still catch a really good mixed bag of fish out there right now. Found out on a recent outing to Lake Eufaula and Fort Gibson Lake with Tim and Zach Stuggy from Broken Arrow. We visited both lakes and both places we found the activity to be about 15 feet. So we had a good activity of shad and we caught a variety of species, smallmouth, largemouth, crappie, white bass, and catfish. 15 feet was a magical depth and I think the thing right now with the big lakes you have the diversity that the small ponds and rivers don't offer you because you can find some activity going on either from wind current or from the river system current itself. Ivan Martin from Grand Lake said the same thing. 15 feet is the magical depth right now. The white bass are suspending at 15 feet, whether he's at that depth or in 40 foot of water. One thing about it this time of year, if you intend to keep some fish, carry with you an ice chest and a good supply of ice and put your catch immediately up on the ice instead of in your live well. With water temperatures about 90 degrees, it's hard to keep your fish alive, and it's certainly hard to keep them in good shape if you intend to eat them. Most of our lakes right now are in really good shape. All of them, all the big waters are at or about normal, with the exception of Broken Bow, which is about seven feet low. One thing about them, you can't catch them where you don't go. See you on the water. Even with all the extreme heat around the region, there are some fantastic reports of good bass fishing and crappie fishing coming in the past couple of weeks from Allen Henry Reservoir out in West Texas. So we're gonna highlight that for you this week on the Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week. And to do that, let's locate it for you on the Lawrence HDS-10. This is a fantastic GPS sonar unit. I've got my Sirius satellite module hooked up to it for all the weather radar and wind information. And we're going to locate Allen Henry about 45 miles south of Lubbock in West Texas and 15 miles southeast of Post Texas, the top left-hand corner of your screen. We zoom down to show you the full lake on the double mountain fork of the Brazos River. We now switch to the Navionics Hot Maps Platinum software, the chip that you put into the card slot in the HDS-10, and we have the top-down satellite photo feature enabled. We locate the parking lot and the boat ramp at Mid Lake here, and we'll highlight an area to the east just to give you an idea of what's happening. There are lots of crappie coming from deep submerged brush off main lake points in 30 feet of water. These points fall off into very deep water very quickly. Now at night, there are good bass fishing reports coming in on plastic worms in these same type areas with deep brush. That's this week's Lowrance Hot Lake of the Week. Stay with us. Cajun Phil and Kevin are up next when we come back. And on Barry's Real Fishing, we'll have a Texas Parks and Wildlife Department striper stocking update. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealers, is brought to you by quality award-winning tracker boats. Fish the finest. By Lowrance, makers of the HDS, high definition systems. And by Gene LaRue Lures and Bobby Garland Bates quality soft plastic baits made in Oklahoma with American pride.